Hi guys, welcome. In this tutorial, I will show you how to make a support panel with a gradient background. Something that is very easy that we can do in uh, five minutes. Before to start, drop a like and follow me on my channel. So let's do. Basically, uh, let me say, I will create a new directory in my root because uh, I need to isolate the file very easy. I will call follow test very easy. Okay. Now the first thing we have to create a material. So uh, double click and create a new material. Let me call uh, follow test so that I don't create issues with the other file. Double click and here is the material. Very easy. Okay, so the first thing uh, we have to, to create the gradient. In my case, I, I use a simple imaging, I'm just ready. Uh, you can find my asset uh, in the link in the description and you can download for free from my Discord server. So very easy. Let's... So guys, the first step is to add the background. In my case, uh, is a, a gradient imaging. So if you like to reuse the same imaging, simple check uh, the comment and you can download for free from my Discord server. So let's go. We have to add a simple text tool. Nice. Uh, go on the other side, the text tool, select the text tool. In my case, it's gradient. Gra okay. Connect the RGB to the basic color, very easy. And to see in real time the result, a simple flag here. This way you can see exactly what changed during the, the work. Here is our gradient for the background. Step two, we want that is moving. So let's add the panel. Okay, let's connect the panel to the UV. And now let me say, let's give a speed. For example, here I change, I put two. In this case, you can see that uh, our sphere is starting to go. But in our case, let me say we want a plane. So switch to the plane, and here is the result. Now, second step, uh, we have to add a second texture. So always test of sample. For the second imaging. And here the second image. Okay, guys. Now we have to connect together. So we need a lap node. So linear incorporate. Let's move here. We have to connect the RGB to the A and the output to the basic color. Step two, let's add the RGB to the B and for the transparency to the alpha. And here is our material ready to go. So let's apply and save. Here we can close. The, now we have to create a blueprint class. So the static mesh that we we use to move the, the panel in the around in the outlet. Let me call full panel test. Double click on the blueprint. Here simple add uh, the plane. Okay. We don't need additional thing. Simple rotate so that we can see exactly what is the result. Okay, let's move so I see it better. Okay, next step look in the material section, element, a simple select our material. In this case, uh, I call it full of test. Here is our panel. What? 
is squared and we want that is better so in this case a simple go to scale unlock set true and this is the result we have a beautiful panel with uh, the transparency and uh, the gradient background simple go on with compile compile give a save closed and we are ready to put in our sheen so in this case you need only to drag and drop in the chain your new asset here is if you don't see it don't worry simple rotate uh, disable the snapping so that you can move uh, where you want and now simple define the dimension that you need maybe two so it's bigger four so it's as large so guys this is our panel that you can move around where you want in your shape so guys thank you for watching drop a like if you don't uh, be don't make it before and follow me on my channel for uh, additional tutorial see you next time bye bye